Have you ever felt alone despite working with tens of colleagues? Or perhaps you work alone from home like me. Whether you're struggling to find the support you need in the workplace or you're a solo teacher, connecting with other professionals can make a world of difference to how we approach our job. It opens up a whole network of support, inspiration and collaboration opportunities. Plus, it's fun to share ideas and experiences with fellow educators. Welcome to another episode of my summer video series. In this episode, we'll explore how we can build valuable connections that can support us in our teaching journey. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. How can we connect with other teachers? Here are some practical tips to get you started. Tip one, attend professional development events and workshops. These are fantastic for meeting like-minded educators who share your passion for teaching. You'll get the chance to learn new strategies, exchange ideas and make valuable connections. There are lots of conferences that I love, but my absolute favourite is TEFL del Sur, a small association in my local area that runs termly events. As well as learning from each other, it's also a social event and a place where we can just hang out and have a chat over a drink, as well as making new friends. And if there isn't a local teachers association near you, why not set one up yourself? Tip two, join online teacher communities. The online world offers a treasure trove of teacher communities. Facebook groups seem to be the most popular space and there are some really great groups. You can connect with other teachers from around the globe, ask questions, seek advice and share your own expertise. My favourite group for teachers is the TEFL Development Hub on Facebook. Are you a member? If not, what are you waiting for? Go and join now. Tip three, join a membership. Memberships are closed groups and the best ones focus on a specific niche or area of teaching. For example, Jamie Keddy's lesson stream, which is all about how to use storytelling in your lessons. Or Fiona Hunter's Kids Club English teacher community, which is specifically for young learner teachers interested in teaching through stories, songs and crafts. Memberships are not free, but what you do get is expert support, webinars and teaching ideas, as well as a friendly community. Finally, collaboration is where the real magic happens. By connecting with other teachers, you can tap into a wealth of knowledge and experience and fresh perspectives. Sharing ideas and resources and strategies not only benefits you, but it also impacts the learning experiences of your students. Here's a tip for the summer. Organize a teacher meetup with teachers in your local area. It can be as simple as a coffee meetup, a drink in a bar or a picnic in the park. It's a great opportunity to meet new people, establish meaningful connections and build friendships. Remember that community is just as important in the classroom. If we value social activities such as coffee breaks and chit chat, it's likely that our students would benefit from this too. So try to incorporate a few social activities into your curriculum, even if these are just five minute meet and greets or mini breaks within a lesson. Give students a chance to actually get to know each other and discover what similar interests they have. This will help create a classroom community and a positive learning environment. So to sum up, connecting with teachers and other people involved in ELT is a really powerful way to grow both personally and professionally. It brings us together, it supports us in our journey and ultimately it benefits our students. So let's go out there and reach out to fellow teachers, connect with them on social media and create those amazing connections. 
and watch this space for some exciting news later this summer. Don't forget to come back next week for more ideas on how to be your best teacher self.